Hello and welcome to Guys.Global. I'm Francine Carroll, Assistant Editor, and with me today I have Miguel Manzanares, uh, the founding partner of Manzanares International, who are a prominent law firm here on the Costa del Sol in Spain. Um, today we're going to do just a brief introductory guide uh, to go along with our much longer video and written guide about buying a property in Spain. Uh, this is named buying a resale property uh, because that is by far the most common type of property transaction. Um, so Miguel, just for this short guide, I thought I'd ask you the three most important things that a foreigner has to think about when they want to buy a property on the Costa del Sol. Okay, so number one, it's important to count with the uh, advice of, of a lawyer. In respect of the lawyer, it's important uh, that the lawyer will be independent. And by independent doesn't really mean that uh, it's not recommended by uh, the real estate agency, because sometimes agencies are recommending the most reputable lawyers in the, in the area. So uh, independent means that uh, you can see that that uh, law firm is dealing with several other agencies that they are recommended by some others, and this means that they are recommended because the agencies belong, be, believe that they are really reputable and good professionals. So counting with a, a, a good, reputable, independent lawyer will be first tip. Okay. So Second. the estate agent isn't just recommending them because uh, it's their cousin from, and you need to make sure that it, there's not really a personal connection there between the estate agent and the lawyer? Yeah, there, there, is, there is something that uh, the, every, everybody could judge uh, this. If you are going to an estate agency in which you see that one of the desk is, is, one, is, is a lawyer uh -huh. and they are recommending that lawyer, that, that is a different thing. But if the, uh, it's a big estate agency is recommending a law firm that is independent and you see that there are clients coming from uh, different, different ways, uh, this uh, recommendation, I could say, I could judge this like a genuine recommendation and not just like an interested recommendation yeah. from the real estate agency. Um, so that would be this, the first one. The second one, you have uh, the most important phase of buying a property is the period of legal searches, investigations, and the due diligence. Uh, when someone buys a new property, uh, you can, you can be certain that the, the legalities are in place because you can see a copy of the planning permission, you can see a copy of the license of personal habitation, that means that the property was successfully expected, and therefore you can complete, you don't have to request anything else. But we are talking about results, and the results could be finished maybe 20 years ago. And then it's important to uh, get the uh, guarantee from the town hall that the owner of that property and the, or the following owners of that property didn't do any extra part of the building that is considered illegal by the town hall. Okay. In order to make sure that this is not the case, it's important that you get the letter, the certificate from the town hall that confirms that even today the town hall and the different administrations are still happy with, with that property and with the planning situation. And is that a letter that usually your lawyer would organise for you? Yeah, we will, we, will get, we will get this letter that will confirm, not just today, but will, will confirm that within the last five years the town hall didn't have any issue, didn't have any, any, any uh, illegal, illegality problem, didn't have any issue at all about that property. Okay, great. And um, your third tip? Well, the third tip uh, will, will, in respect of the of the uh, of the uh, planning, of uh, it's important to plan very well what type of legal structure is the ideal for the uh, uh, for the most efficient taxation of the property. Uh, everybody that buys a property is under different uh, family circumstances. Some of them are intending to buy this property with a residential purpose but for a long term. Some of them are planning to just simply rent it out, or some of them are planning to do a uh, short-term uh, selling. Uh, also, the, the value of the property, the price of the property, will make a big influence about the inheritance tax. Uh, so this is all deserving a, a, well, a good analysis in order to build in, in collaboration with a client which is the best legal structure to buy this property. This is happening, this is of course something that's got to happen at the very beginning of the process. So before even you start looking at properties, it's a good idea to start thinking about 
yeah. how you want to buy it, under whose name, what kind of value of property is going to be best for you? Ideally, yes. Ideally, before even you, you are considering to buy a property, but in case you didn't plan this uh, ahead, then it's, it's got to be planned at the very beginning from the moment that the property is being reserved and you have an agreement with the vendors in between that time up to the signing of the contract. At the same time that legal searches are progressing, it's important to identify which is the best legal structure and our lawyers will be working in two parallel ways, setting up the right legal structure at the same time that we are progressing with the legal searches and due diligence. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much for that, Miguel. Um, to read and watch more videos uh, about buying property in Spain and on the Costa del Sol in particular, you can see the links underneath this video, or you can visit us on www.guides.global. Um, if you've liked this video, please like or follow us. And whether you do that or not, we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.